improve our teamwork when we're all so different? Good question. Now, let me answer by asking you some questions. We are all intelligent and have dog intelligence, DQ, while humans call it IQ. We all have our own dog style and we all have dog smarts. How much do you think your DQ changes from birth? 80%. 70%. I don't fully understand the question. I need more detail. The answer is 0%. DQ doesn't change from birth. If your DQ doesn't change, how about your dog style? How much do you think your dog style changes from birth? 50%. 80%? A lot, I would think. It would be low. You are right, Charles. The latest research is showing that it changes between 1% to 5%. Think about it like this. Has anyone here had any puppies? I once had four puppies in the one litter. As you watched them grow up and become dogs, did their dog style change, or did you see the same style that they had when they were puppies? You're right. I saw those dog style traits from birth. There are lots of different dog styling tools. The one that I use with the cells is that you are either dog focused or task focused. What do you think you are? I'm task-focused, as my priority on the first night was the task at hand. I'm task-focused as well. I'm dog-focused, as my priority is to get the dogs out. I'm the same as Izzy, as I focus on the dogs. The second part of your dog style is that you either want to control what is going on, or you are willing to adapt and go with the flow. I'm definitely the controller. I'm the same as Dexter. I'm willing to adapt. I'm like Charles. I would prefer to adapt to keep the peace, avoid conflict, and support any good ideas that others raise. Dexter, you want to get things done in the best interests of the task. Izzy, you want to get things done in the best interests of the dogs. Sally, you want to make sure that everyone is okay. And Charles, you are typically ensuring that there is accuracy and a process. Wow! Yeah. Correct. That's right. And each of you are all four dog styles, but you will all naturally have a preference. If we're all so different, how are we going to work together to get out of the doghouse? The key is to understand each other's preferences and differences, and then work together and improve one relationship at a time.